this week on Outdoor Bound TV. You'll meet our good friend Jana Waller. Now Jana is originally from Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. She has moved to Montana and has a new show coming out on the Sportsman's Channel this January. Jana has spent the last 18 months traveling the world and boy does she have some adventures. We're going to take a sneak peek at Jana's new show, Skullbound TV. And later, we head to the woods with my daughter, McKenna. Now she is a student at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, but takes a break from her studies to join her family at a central Wisconsin farm for the Wisconsin Gun Deer Opener. that one. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Colby Chrysler Center. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. Canada Outdoor Adventures, professionally outfitted hunting trips from Canada, New Zealand and beyond. Hey everyone, stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Outdoor Bound TV right after these messages. At Kobe Chrysler Center, we know you have more important things to do than worry about your car. So let us take care of you. Whether you need routine maintenance or need a major repair, we are not just fixing your car. We are helping you get back to the things that matter to you. When it comes time for a new car, we'll be there, giving you the biggest selection with no pressure or red tape. If you're looking for a used car, know that our stock comes from people we know. People just like you. At Kobe Chrysler, it's all about making you feel at home and ready to hit the road. Welcome home to Kobe Chrysler. Conceptual design, quality printing, and custom applications. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Over 20 years of professional service and experience. Pro Designs in Medford, from original concept to finished product. Get the recognition your business deserves. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. Offering professionally guided, all-inclusive packages, Canada Outdoor Adventures is a U.S.-based company specializing in great hunting adventures in Alberta, British Columbia, New Zealand, and beyond. Whether you're seeking that trophy of a lifetime, planning a hunt for you or your group, or taking your son or daughter on their first adventure, let Canada Outdoor Adventures handle all the details for you. To contact a pro staff member near you, visit our website, Canada Outdoor Adventures, the adventure of a lifetime. Hey everyone, next we're gonna meet Jana Waller. Now Jana is originally from Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. She's moved to Montana. She has a new television show coming out on the Sportsman's Channel in January called Skullbound TV. Now she has spent the last 18 months traveling the world and she has some exciting adventures. Let's get some Jana right now. I moved out west last year, but my Midwestern roots run deep. Growing up in Port Atkinson, I've spent the last 39 years hunting and fishing the great state of Wisconsin that I still call home. For the past 18 months, we've been traveling the globe, filming for a new hunting and fishing adventure show and meeting some of the most outlandish characters through my skull business. This is Skullbone TV. She's a bit unconventional. It's always been in my blood. A pull to nature. This is my calling. This is my playground. She's an artist, but not on canvas. She's an outdoor writer. But hunting is not what you might think. It's about a connection to our planet and its people. She's committed to conservation, 
bound to make a difference. She's Skullbound. Last year's adventures started out on the dark continent deep within the African bush. There's something about Africa that resonates in your bones. During our hunt, we were witness to one of the most incredible conservation projects, the effort to save and protect the striped and spotted hyena. Change of game plans, welcome to Africa. It all happened so fast, my heart was just pounding, and then out he stepped. Can't be more excited. <laughs> to sit on the ground with these hyenas, th this is not normal hyena behavior. These two hyenas, Dion is raised, hand raised, bottle fed from when they were pups. They're two sisters, actually. To see them from a different side, not these evil dogs who, you know, rip apart game and, you know, who are often portrayed in a real negative light. To see them up close and personal and to see the love that Dion and his wife have for this project, it was inspiring. From Africa to the big sky country, we set our sights on harvesting a public land Montana black bear. Coming around this bend on the logging road, and Jim says, get out, get out, get out. I jump out of the truck, look around. I'm thinking he sees a big bear, and it's a gorgeous, huge mountain lion. And all of a sudden, we come around this bend, and it's like, oh my god, there he is. Montana black bear down. <laughs> I got a phone call from Jason Belcor of Hunting the Res magazine. He invited me to go chasing pronghorn with the Chippewa Cree tribe on the Rocky Boy Indian Reservation. Our rifles from GA Precision are in. You know, as native people uh, hunting the res, we value our, our game and our fish, our habitat and our wildlife. We're so closely connected to Mother Earth. Awesome. We've got a nice group of antelope bedded down. <laughs> Look at that! <gasps> From pronghorns to whitehorns, it was time to set down the rifle, pick up the bow, and head a little bit closer to home, this time heading to Corn Belt Whitetail Outfitters in Illinois. This is Corn Belt Whitetail Outfitters on Skullbound TV. hunting almost 20 years, but never did I think I'd be in the heart of the Florida swampland chasing gators. We're gonna head out in a couple hours and hopefully stick a gator. I can't get over the amount of gators, and there are some beasts back in oh, here. Oh, there's some real animals out here. What do you say about Jana? She loves the thrill of the hunt. Oh, oh. Excitement, something new. She's consumed by the outdoors. Oh my gosh, that is so much fun. Kermit, come on, talk to me. Oh my god, what kind of snake is that? So cool looking. I grew up fishing the waters of Wisconsin, and with Skullbound TV, we take fishing to a whole new level. From African tiger fishing to monster Montana trout. Fish on. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Look at that fish. Push on. This is so cool. Fish on. Look at that walleye. Yeah! Look at those teeth. Nice little tiger fish. Oh, don't. I hope to bump into all of you either in the field or on the water. Tune in this January 2012 to the Sportsman's Channel to watch Skullbound TV or to see what we're up to, join our Facebook fan page. Visual acuity. Enhanced vision. Improved shooting. Competitive edge. 100% guarantee. Bow tint archery lenses. Created by optometrist Dr. Perry Arndt helping redefine hunting and competitive archery by utilizing tinted optical lens technology to enhance clarity and focus. Dr. Arndt, an avid sportsman, uses tinted lenses in his eyewear to enhance his competitive edge while trap shooting. Bow tint scope lenses are specifically designed to increase focus and clarity. Hi, my name is Perry Arndt and I'm the founder of Bow Tint Lenses. I'm an eye doctor, an optometrist that has been practicing in Wisconsin for 38 years. And I really love my job. But there can be times that my job uh, can be a disadvantage. And actually it's times when, for instance, I'm playing a sport like baseball, or maybe shooting a bow, or playing golf, and I hit a ball out into the woods somewhere. It's very common that people say to me, have you had your eyes checked lately? Well, one of my friends that I was actually shooting with, his name is Tony, and he asked me one day if it was possible to develop a lens that would work in the scopes of bows to improve the ability to see and sight for bow hunters. Well, with my background in optics and tints and anti-glare, I took that challenge and worked on developing a lens that had magnification, certain tints, tints that would, for instance, highlight a target and diminish the background, have an anti-glare and even a corrective curved surface for better optics and less distortion. So if you would look at our website and check out the colors that are available, uh, give us a call. We can talk about different situations that you're hunting in and shooting in and we can help customize some of those products for you. Bow tint lenses allow archers to improve arrow accuracy, whether hunting or in competition. Bow tint archery lenses. Improve your competitive edge and order today. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Hi everyone, we'd like to see your photos of the animals that you harvest this year. If you'd like to have them included on the show, log on to our website, www.outdoorbound.tv and click on the submit video button. It'll give you all the instructions right there. Keep them coming, we love to see them and we'd love to have them on the show. Jana, those are great adventures, and we can't wait to tune in to Skullbound TV in January. Next, you're going to meet my daughter, McKenna. Now, she is a student at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. We've been hunting together since she's been 12 years old. Now, we knew when she moved off to college, schedules would be difficult, and we may not be able to hunt together as much. And frankly, we hadn't planned to hunt for the Wisconsin deer opener this fall. Well, on Thursday night before the season opened, I got a call from a young lady that didn't want to miss opening weekend. Let's meet McKenna right now. Hi, I'm McKenna Walbeck from Fall Creek, Wisconsin, and I'm currently a student at the University of Wisconsin-Madison where I'm pursuing a major in biology. I got involved with hunting a long time ago. My dad and my grandfather and all my uncles went out hunting at our farm in Briggsville, and it was something that I was just kind of interested in. And so I'd go along with my dad when I was young and sit in the tree stand, so when I finally turned 12 years old, um, right before that, me and my dad took hunter safety together. And so I got to finally go out on my first whitetail hunt, got to carry the gun. And my dad's rule was that I first had to shoot 
a deer with an open sight before I was allowed to move up to the scope or that he would buy me one, which I wasn't too happy about, but I did it. And um, we were out together and a nice eight pointer came out and I took a shot at it about 125 yards. And I was actually using the gun that my grandfather got made for my grandmother, so that was pretty special. It was a um, Winchester 357 Magnum and it was uh, quite a shot with an open sight, but I hit it and went down and retracted and found it and it was a good first deer and a good first hunt and experience in Briggsville where I still hunt today. So after I had shot my first buck, that eight pointer, um, word started getting around, showed, I brought the picture to school and showed my teachers, showed my friends, you know, and I really started getting a lot of grief from the guys then because they were just mad that I'd shoot a bigger deer than them and the fact that I was a girl and I'd shoot bigger bucks, they were just, they were just jealous. But. Um, a lot of people assume since my dad, you know, is an outfitter, is a guide, and, you know, has hunted all these animals that I am automatically going to be just as good, but I give the old man a little run for his money every now and then. The same year that I shot my first buck when I was 12, I got to go out turkey hunting with my dad, and I found out it was something that I really enjoyed because, you know, you got to move around a little bit more, and it was a little bit different from whitetail hunting, and I really enjoyed it. And my first year I got out and uh, shot a nice turkey with a uh, ten and a half inch beard and it was a really nice first turkey and I have really really loved turkey hunting. Unfortunately I haven't been able to go as much with sports getting in the way when I was in high school but it's something that I really enjoy and hope to keep doing. This fall I moved down to Madison. I kind of thought that maybe my hunting career would have to be put on pause for a couple years being down there and so hunting season rolled around and the opening weekend was coming and I really just wanted to go so I called my dad on Thursday night and he was up in Canada filming and I said dad you know is there any way that we can you can come home and we can go hunting this weekend and so he flew home Friday at about 5 p.m. in Minneapolis drove all the way home packed up my stuff and drove three hours down to Madison to come and get me and luckily at 1:30 in the morning we found a store that was open that I could buy a hunting license and we got down to our cabin put all of our stuff, got it all ready for the next morning because I was just so happy to be there. And The opportunity to hunt down in Briggsville and that farm there is one that I really cherish because it not only holds tons of memories for hunting, but it also holds a lot of memories between our family. And My grandpa started hunting there a long time ago, back in the 70s, and now my dad and his family hunt there, and now me and my brother and my cousins get to hunt there. So we have tons of generations, we have so much fun, not only the hunting is great, but we play cribbage and we have tournaments and you know we have to watch and listen to the football games when we're down there and we eat and it's something that is not only great for hunting but it's great for spending time with the family as well. We're on the opening day of the gun deer season. We're hunting in Briggsville, Wisconsin. And right now we've got a little tough weather. Um, it's a little misty, a little rainy. We're planted right between um, marsh and, and some woods on our left and we're trying to catch the deer as they come out and bed down and feed. So we're hoping uh, to get a few this morning. We saw some does and some small bucks. So hopefully we can see a shooter this afternoon. Stick with us.
start shaking after one of them. All right, it's, fine. it's nice to finally get my hands on the steer after such a long night and a long morning. We uh, went out looking for him after I shot him around four last night, and unfortunately it started raining pretty hard after we got out of the stand. It also started getting dark about 45 minutes later, so we didn't get to track him real long, didn't find anything, the blood wasn't sticking since the rain, and it's hard to see blood on this tall marsh grass anyways. So we uh, decided to call it a night, figured we'd come back in the morning, keep looking for him, and uh, we came out this morning, I was hoping we'd find him, but I wasn't too sure. And I knew I'd got a good shot off, but since we didn't find him last night, we're praying we'd find him this morning. So my cousins came out and helped me look. And after a while, we uh, found some clumps of hair. And so not too far from that, we found him about 250 yards from where I'd shot him. He ran further into the marsh, so tough place. But uh, thank God they came to help me. And we, got, we found him this morning, I'm so glad. And uh, it's been a really great weekend of hunting down here in Briggsville where uh, my grandfather hunted and now my dad and now me and my brother and my cousins. So generations keep coming back to this farm and it's been a great, great weekend. Wherever life may take me, it's good to know that I can always come back to Wisconsin and go to that farm in Briggsville and that I'll always have family there and great hunting opportunities and just a weekend that's always fun to remember. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Colby Chrysler Center. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. Canada Outdoor Adventures, professionally outfitted hunting trips from Canada, New Zealand, and beyond. I'm McKenna Wallach from Fall Creek, Wisconsin, and I'm currently a student at University of Wisconsin-Madison. Outdoor Bound TV will be right back after these messages on Wisconsin. At Colby Chrysler Center, we know you have more important things to do than worry about your car. So let us take care of you. Whether you need routine maintenance or need a major repair, we are not just fixing your car. We are helping you get back to the things that matter to you. When it comes time for a new car, we'll be there, giving you the biggest selection with no pressure or red tape. If you're looking for a used car, know that our stock comes from people we know, people just like you. 
At Colby Chrysler, it's all about making you feel at home and ready to hit the road. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Conceptual design, quality printing, and custom applications. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Over 20 years of professional service and experience. Pro Designs in Medford, from original concept to finished product. Get the recognition your business deserves. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Offering professionally guided, all-inclusive packages, Canada Outdoor Adventures is a U.S.-based company specializing in great hunting adventures in Alberta, British Columbia, New Zealand, and beyond. Whether you're seeking that trophy of a lifetime, planning a hunt for you or your group, or taking your son or daughter on their first adventure, let Canada Outdoor Adventures handle all the details for you. To contact a pro staff member near you, visit our website, Canada Outdoor Adventures, the adventure of a lifetime. Hey, would you like to help us out on Outdoor Bound TV? If you've got a video camera, go ahead and shoot your recovery on your animal and you take us out to commercial break. Hi, I'm John Kirshner from Independence, Wisconsin. I'm here in Alberta. Stay tuned for more hunting action right after these messages. For details, log on to our website, www.outdoorbound.tv and click on the submit video button. It'll give you all the instructions right there. next week on Outdoor Bound TV. Join us as we follow father and son, Alan and Shannon Grew, as they travel to the mountains of Alberta. While Alan tracks down the ever-elusive Alberta mule deer, Shannon finds out that Canadian whitetail offer just as much hunting excitement as the whitetail in his home state of Wisconsin. So this fall I moved down to Madison to pursue, um, to pursue what? To pursue a career. I'm again a wallet from Valker. <laughs> My dad and his brother-in-laws and brothers, I kind of just say brothers. <laughs> Shoot! Take me away. Oh, 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 oh. I know, but I just want the big side showing, not the tiny side. Not what I want to say. Are you recording? Yeah. You're supposed to tell me that. <laughs> Good help is hard to find. We're out of here. <laughs>